stayed up so late last night. I stayed up actually watching a movie. I was surfing around and um, on YouTube and I couldn't really get to sleep because I had had, um, I don't know, some, I got some family issues going on and I actually wanted to talk a little bit about colorism, but um, I think I'm going to shelf that for a minute and talk about this particular movie. Um, I was surfing and, and I was watching YouTube and I was watching different blogs, of course. And one of my favorite video blogs is Gia TV. I love Gia TV. That girl is so funny. I mean, truly, she is one of those where you could put her on TV and folks would watch her most deaf. Um, but I was actually watching a video um, blog that she had actually done a few days ago. And it was about a movie that she saw. The name of the movie was Cover. Um, Cover is about down low brothers. These brothers that are sleeping with other brothers and they are not openly gay. They're not telling people that, you know, this is the lifestyle that I choose. They're not saying, okay, I'm sleeping with other men. You technically, it's kind of like by day, you know, they are straight men, but their preference is to be with other men. And so basically a Clef Notes version of this uh, movie uh, basically was there was a married couple. The wife had some suspicions that he was sleeping around, but her suspicions, she first of all, she was very naive. And the suspicions that she had basically was leading her, or so she thought was leading her to assume that he was having an affair with someone that he worked with. No. <laughs> it was actually he was having an affair with another guy that's just the cliff notes version of it and um basically she catches him and she catches him in the hotel room she gets a tip and she catches him in this hotel room with another man and they're in the shower and she's just like when she sees them she's standing there for a moment and she's like oh you know, she's all, you know, of course, you know, don't get me wrong. I understand that she was shocked. I would have been shocked too. But it would have been a whole different ball game had it been me. Uh, yeah. I got a problem with cheating, period. I have a problem <laughs> with cheating. Obviously, every person does pretty much have a problem with cheating and being cheated on. Okay, um... No, but that wouldn't have been me, okay? I wouldn't have just been shocked and ran out. No, 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 no. Hell no, okay? For me, for me, okay? Somebody would have got their motherfucking ass whooped. You better believe it. I'm walking in and I see my husband that I have a child at home with and this motherfucker in the shower rub-a-dub-dubbing and soap -a soap soaping up with another man? Oh, boo-boo. Oh, no, 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 no. You got me fucked up. You got the wrong one. Because guess what? Somebody's dying and somebody's going to jail. And guess what, baby boo? I ain't dying. It would have been two body bags leaving that motherfucking hotel room and my ass would have been in the back of a police car been like, oh yeah, I killed the motherfucker, yes. And it probably wouldn't have been a jury in the world that would have convicted that woman on anything other than possible uh, involuntary manslaughter. I mean, truly, I couldn't even see it, okay? But that's just me and that's how I handle things. That's, that's who I am. Pray for me. Please pray for me because I... You don't want that to happen to me. Because my, y'all you know, be like, ain't that that, didn't I see her ass on YouTube or something? Wasn't she trying to video blog or some shit? Trust me. Trust me. You would see my ass on CNN, MSNBC, and all them news. Because I done, I done fucked both of them up. They gone. Okay? Gone. Ain't no more down lowing, under lowing. Ain't no more shit like that going on. Trust and believe. Okay? But... Uh, on this, that's serious, because I was going to say on the serious side, but it, that is serious, because I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm honestly not kidding. Um, but this is the thing. I don't have a problem with a man being gay. I swear I don't have a problem with that. To each its own. I have to, when I go to heaven, I have to answer for my own sins and trust and believe there are many. I don't have to worry about what the next man is because a lot of people will sit there and they will preach on, you know, they will preach on how, 
you know, wrong it is and how God doesn't like it. That's not me. That's not who I am. That ain't how I roll. I worry about me. I'm concerned about me and, and my salvation and who I am. And I know it's hard to believe, right? Because I did all that cussing just a few moments ago. I am a Christian. I swear I am. And my job, I swear. <laughs> I swear. Even though I, yeah, I am, I'm still a Christian. But this is the thing. Okay. Um, I got to worry about me. And if people just concentrate on themselves, and concentrate on getting their lives together and getting their lives right. They don't have time to worry about what everybody else is doing, okay? Because I know, I, I mean, I can put it this way, I don't know because I'm a woman and, and I'm a heterosexual woman. But I can imagine that it would be extremely hard, okay, to come out of the closet or it's something that you, you're dealing with emotionally and you don't want to do that. I, I understand that. I get that. But... As your woman, as your wife, as your significant other, as your partner, as your best friend, as your lover, give me the opportunity, the, the opportunity to either say, yes, I want to be a part of this or no, I don't want to be a part of this. Tell me, because if you love me and you're in love with me, as you probably are claiming that you are, then you need to be man enough to tell me. If you man enough to go lay down and do what you're doing and all that kind of stuff, you should be man enough to go ahead and tell me, look, baby, this is where we are and this is what we need to do. There was a lot of problems with that movie. To me, it wasn't realistic because, you know, not to give away the end, but, you know, whatever, but trust and believe. That movie would have went a whole different route had they cast my ass or had it been my story. It so it, the majority of the movie would have been about my damn trial. I'm please trust and believe that. But the movie exposes more more African American women because I think a lot of us we kind of close you know close our eyes to it. And I, one of my girlfriends said to me, because I was talking to her about it too, and she had actually said to me, she says, well, I don't want to see the movie because I know I'm going to end up thinking like all men are gay. I don't think that. I don't think all men are gay. But I do think it's a lot of men that ain't telling the truth. <laughs> um, I do think that. I do think it's a whole lot of men that ain't quite telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth. But, you know, hey, this is what I think. Be real with me. Be real with me. Tell me. I have had <laughs> I have had some relationships in the past where some shit was confessed to me. I dealt with it. I ain't gonna get into what it was, but I'm telling you, I dealt with it. I did, I dealt with it, and I dealt with it out of love. But tell my ass what the real deal is. Do not do not fool me. Don't try to pull the wool over my eyes and expose me to other diseases out there. And it's and and I mean it's about the diseases as well. It's my heart. I'm giving you my heart. I'm in this with you. I mean, in the movie, she was married to this man and had a child with him. She was she had a life with him. And for him to kind of just be like, okay, well, you know, I'm here. But I'm going to do this over here. There's a problem with that. If you love me, love me enough to tell me the truth. Because I'm going to tell you. Y'all, download brothers, fuck around, get the right one. Fuck around and get the right one. I would have my foot knee deep in a motherfucker's ass if I found out. Fuck around and get the right one, brothers. And find out what's going to happen to you. Your ass going to be in a motherfucking funeral home. Ain't no lie about that. Be truthful in what you do. If that's who you are, God bless you. God embrace you. But don't go lying about it and thinking like, okay, I can, you know, go ahead and, and do my thing. And then I'm going to go home and be with Mm -mm -mm -mm. don't use me as your beard or your cover or your key to what you feel is the acceptable world be real about who you are and tell your woman what's really going on with you let her make that decision for herself don't make it for her don't make her her relationship with you a death sentence possibly anyway y'all that was just me 
I was just responding. Talk to you later. Baby, tell me what am I gonna do about this freaking threesome love affair?